All right, guys, this one is going to be a quick one. I'm going to get through these packages as quick as I can, but still tell you a little bit about them and show them to you guys. So real quick, my brother-in-law came in town, and if I haven't met anyone else who enjoys fishing and loves fishing as much as me, uh, his son probably is a close second, if not probably more than me. And his dad, uh, Josh, loves to fish just as much. So he's in town, and we're going to go fishing tomorrow for a few hours, see what we can do. But before we head out to the water, I wanted to crack into these lures, show them to you guys, show them what we got. So I'm going to get in here, I'm going to rip them open, show them to you guys. Then we're going to rig some stuff up and hit the water tomorrow. Also, Christmas came a little early. I uh, got a little something special in there. I can't wait to show it to you guys. First up, um, I was on Facebook the other night and I ordered a few lures from this company last year and I really like their jigs. Uh, they're hand tied, handmade jigs. I really like them. They're called Frugal Lures. They make some really cool small jigs, big jigs, but more specifically the color patterns, the trailers, and the size of the jig. Uh, here on my home body of water, I like to throw a little bit lighter of a jig, kind of a finesse jig, quarter ounce. Maybe I'll go up to a 3 8 ounce, but I usually don't throw much bigger than that here locally. So I use a lot of these smaller jigs. So uh, he had a few auction items up and I made a bid and we won on the bid. So I'm gonna rip open of these and show you these jigs. I believe it's four of them that came in here. So let's check them out. Here we go. Let's see. Woo. Yeah. Look at that. I believe these are all quarter ounce jigs. And they're actually a finesse jig on a net rig head, which I'm actually going to use this tomorrow. So I wanted to crack open to these and show them to you guys. But check this out, man. Little net head rig. So it's got this finesse skirt here trimmed off which makes it a little bit finesse and it's got that little hook there we'll put a little trailer on I'll show you the trailer I'm gonna use for that here in a minute that's gonna look killer yeah look at this color pattern here same weed guard a hook there So one, two, three, four. So we got eight new finesse Ned Rig jig heads, jigs here. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty stoked on these guys. These are definitely gonna catch some fish. And um, yeah, and I can't wait. Tomorrow I'm gonna go try these out. Get out there, catch some fish on them. And you guys are gonna be able to see in the video what these do out there on the water on my lake. Again, Frugal Lures. And I'll link it down in the description uh, for you guys to see if you guys want to go check out his website and order you guys some of these jigs. He's got all kinds of jigs, swim jigs, uh, big jigs, finesse jigs, all kinds of jigs there on that website. So pretty stoked on that, guys. All right, before I go any further, let me explain a little something of what's going on behind me. It's a complete mess. I mean, we got my depth finders. We got boxes of crankbaits. We got bags of plastics. We got another depth finder, more bags of plastics, and... A few things hanging up on here on what is going to be my future tackle wall so I've got so many baits um, everywhere I'm gonna try to get a little bit more organized basically whenever we go fishing I grab these bags grab those boxes throw in the boat and go want to be a little bit more organized have some day packs ready to go keep the rest of the stuff here because normally I don't need everything on the boat every time I go fishing I just kind of need what I feel is gonna work for that day maybe a few extra things uh, what I want to throw so all this back here after I get off camera with you guys I'm gonna start organizing it and uh, who knows maybe I'll shoot a video afterwards and show you how we broke it down how we organized it and what we think is gonna work for us while we're out there on the water so yeah that's what's going on back here behind me and it's a mess I didn't want to look back there uh, I got all my poles out here trying to get rigged up trying to get ready to go so as soon as I'm done shooting this that's what's gonna happen next box so if you guys didn't know uh, a few weeks back 
uh, six cents had a pretty big sell on the holidays. I think it was like almost up to 70 or 75% off of some of their clearance items that were already marked down. They marked them down even further. So I went ahead and jumped on there because, hey, who can't beat a good deal, right? I'm that guy that always goes after those good deals. I saw them. There were some things on there that were already in my cart that I'd been thinking about grabbing for a while. And with that actual extra discount in there, I went ahead, made the order, picked them up, and also picked up a few extra things that I knew I was going to be needing here in the near future. And uh, some things that were working for us in the last video, some more jig heads, a few other things that are in there. So let's crack off into this one and uh, show you guys what we got. Woo. So the first thing I see already is something that I've had in my cart for a while that had been on sale. And uh, I finally pulled the trigger on it with this cell, and it's gonna help me with what's going on back here. And that is a couple new bait bags. Not one, but two of these bait bags. So yeah, not one, not two, but we got three. And we got the famous sack. I love these things. As you can see, you probably can't see right now, I got one back there with my bibs uh, folded up in there. I keep my bibs out here, and uh, I got that folded out there. And we got some stickers. And if you don't know, Waterland Co. I haven't yet got some glasses yet, but here in the future, I'm hoping, who knows, maybe a Christmas gift. Uh, I did tell the wife I could use some new shades. So uh, Waterland sunglasses. I've heard great things. Uh, I usually Oakley guy. But I've been dying to try some of their glasses. So that's a cool little coupon code we got there for 15% off. Definitely going to use that. And who doesn't love stickers, right? An extra sticker we got there from the six. Shout out to you guys, man. Big ups, big ups. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got first, man. There's so much in here. Let's see. Let's start with the soft plastics. Here we go. All right. So speaking of Ned Rigs, that's something I haven't fished a lot of, but I picked up a few of those rigs. When the fish aren't really biting here on my home lake, you can always fall back on that Ned rig. So I got some of the 4.6, I believe it is. Yep, 4.6 Ned fries in the green pumpkin color. Good size. You can cut these down. You can fish them full size. You can wacky, wacky rig them. You can do all kinds of, of things here with this bait. But check that out. This is the 4.6 Ned fry. And that is in the green pumpkin flavor. Who doesn't love green pumpkin, right? You can fish that color anywhere, any lake, any time of the year, and it's going to catch fish. That right there will. So yeah, you can cut these down. Uh, if you want a little bit smaller finesse rig, uh, you can wacky rig them. You can Texas rig them. Uh, you can use them as trailers. You can use them all kinds of ways. Uh, drop shot. I've seen guys drop, drop shot these all kinds of ways. So I picked up a couple bags of these and the green pumpkin. Sweet. I think I got another one in here. Is this one? Yep, another bag, same color, green pumpkin. Sweet. All right, what else do we got? Some more soft plastics in here. Ooh, look at this. Some more stickers, man. Sweet. Maybe I did order these things and I just forgot, but either way, who doesn't need more stickers, right? Let's see. Some more soft plastics. So, um, I did order another one of these buffs. Uh, keep the sun out of your face. They're pretty sweet. This one was on there. I like the design. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Love these things. Uh, they keep the sun out of your face. They keep the wind out of your face on the windy mornings. They even keep your ears cool. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can wear these things all kinds of ways. But uh, but yeah, I had to get another sun mask, buff, whatever you want to call it. Again, it was one of the items that was on sale. I mean, for $2, I had to grab one of those. All right. What else we got in here? I think the rest. Hard baits, hard baits, hard baits, hard baits, hard baits, hard baits. All right, what we got here? Bam. What is this? Woo. Okay, so there's a couple of these in here. I ordered some of these mini 25X crankbaits. And the reason I did that is I'm taking the boys out with me a little bit more. And I feel like these smaller crankbaits, they can start throwing that on top of fishing some of my local creeks and ponds. These little 25X mini crankbaits are going to do really well, especially in these color patterns on these rivers here locally. So let's crack this open real quick. Man. Yeah. This is nice here. And this is one of my favorite colors that they have in the regular 50X and all their, all their crankbaits. But this is the Ghost Pro, I think is what it is. Yeah, Ghost Pro Shad. And look at that. I'll show you a comparison to some of the full-size crankbaits, but look at that.
So it's got that translucent body there. You can actually kind of see through it. And this is that mini 25X. It's got that black back. Just a nice shad clear pattern there. There's nice any knockers. I think it's got some little uh, little rattle in there. Little sweet. Yeah. I think I got another one of these in there that I ordered. All right, we'll put that back up. There. All right, let's keep going. Keep going. All right, so this is one I got specifically for a lake that I'm going to fish uh, hopefully pretty soon. Uh, it's got a little bit of grass in it, some hydrilla, and uh, I've heard a lot of good things about it. And uh, fishing it shallow with that chartreuse, and this is the Movement L7. And that's in the chartreuse spank. Yeah. Sweet color right there. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to fishing this. Uh, I believe it does pretty good. Most crankbaits require contact with structure or cover to entice strikes, not the six sense movement L7 crankbait. This revolutionary design works on its own action to erratically hunt left to right in open water through the target depth range of three to six feet. Using the industry's finest paint schemes and sharpest black nickel hooks, power fishing with the movement L7 simply changes everything. Sweet. I do not have one of these. I've never fished one of these, so we're gonna keep that one close by and try to give it a run. All right, so you guys might have saw a couple videos back. I lost my catwalk, and that is in the Spanish bone. But I went back and I looked in those rocks. About a month later, I was back out there. I launched the boat, and the boat was sitting there at the dock. And I thought to myself, I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna check. I literally went back to the same spot I had looked before where I couldn't find it and it was sitting behind a rock about that big and I'll show you the picture. I took a picture of how I found it and where I found it. Check this out. So I found it and I have it with me. Hold on. So I actually found it. So I in the Spanish bone, no not the Spanish bone, I'm sorry. Yeah, it is the Spanish bone. I was thinking Spanish pearl. In the Spanish bone, let me tell you, this thing right here is a Guadalupe bass catcher. Uh, the last time, one of the videos you guys saw, I think I threw it uh, on that rocky bluff and, and the first three casts, boom, 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 I came up with three Guadalupe bass. Um, so it catches them. Uh, something about the movement of this catwalk versus most other topwater spooks is it effortlessly. I mean, you don't have to really work it like you normally do when you're walking the dog. Uh, you just give it a few twitches here and there and it, and it effortlessly just kind of cuts. And I think it's because of that V-shaped body right here how it cuts through that water uh, with ease. And the bass hear that and see it and they come up on that bone color and they just smash it. But we got two now. So just in case this one goes down, I might retire this one, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Retire it, hang it up on the tackle wall, start fishing the new one, we'll see. We'll see, but we got two now, so we're good to go on that. All right, what else do we got here? All right, so we got a Curve 55. This is kind of one of the ones that I've been eyeing uh, that red color in the fall and the spring here on my leg does pretty well. So this is the Jungle Rose. Look at that. Those oranges. That belly. And it's got like a kind of a lavender back there. Alright, the next one that was sitting here that kind of came out when I pulled out that Jungle Rose was this Cloud 9 C6. And this one is in the Ghost Pro Truce. So it's got a little bit of that Ghost Pro color that that Mini did, but on the belly here, I'll show it to you guys, it's got a little bit of chartreuse on it. And this one's gonna dive a little bit deeper than the 50X. It's gonna get down into that six foot range, eight foot range. I think it's four to eight foot versus the 50X gets down to about, uh, I think six foot. I'll have to read that one to be sure. But this is the Ghost Pro Truce, which it has that Ghost Pro paint scheme there like that Mini did, but on the belly there, it's got some chartreuse on it. Who doesn't love chartreuse, right? I know the bass do, especially down on Falcon, which we might be heading to pretty soon. That Cloud 9 C6 and the Ghost Pro Truce. I don't think I have that color either. Some of these baits, I don't have any of these colors, which being on sale, I thought I'm gonna grab these colors and give them a shot. Cause I know that their paint schemes, again, are bad to the bone. All right, we're gonna set that one to the side too. Let's keep going, let's keep going, what do we got? Oh, yeah. So, as you guys saw in my last video, uh, fishing a different lake, clearer water, light line, we were tearing them up on those little paddle tail swimmers. So, I got some of these swim jigs. These are the 3 8 ounce Divine Jig Heads. And these are in the 3 8 ounce. I think I got some quarter ounce in there too. 
But man, look at that. So one thing I really love about these jig heads that I didn't have on some of the other jig heads that I was fishing with, and I noticed that my trailer kept slipping down, kept slipping down. And I knew this about this because I have they ha I have some of their swim jigs, but the screw lock system on on the six inch jig heads, whether it be the Divine swim jig or just the regular uh, Divine jig heads, is that screw lock system right there. And basically, what that screw lock system does, it's going to help you keep your trailer or your paddle tail up butted up against that jig head so it's not going to be slipping down every time you reel it up and you're going to cast you're having to readjust that or throw some super glue which you can still throw some super glue on here just to keep that trailer up there from slipping down every time the bass nibble at it or it's coming through that water that screw lock system really helps out with that so uh, i got a little bit of heavier ones these are the 3 8 ounce and uh, i'm sure pretty soon you're going to see me back out there on lake austin um, fishing with these all right what we got oh yeah so this is the Snatch 70X. This is a pretty cool color. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I've ever seen this color. So when I saw it in the Snatch, I had to grab it. And one of the reasons I grabbed it is while I was fishing Lake Austin, I had a kayaker come by tell me that he caught a pretty good, I think it said he caught a, a 22 or a 23 inch bass uh, on his kayak fishing a crawl patterned uh, rattle trap. I don't fish a lot of rattle traps uh, in Travis just because there's not a lot of grass. And I'm not saying that you have to have grass to, to catch them, but I've known that that's how a lot of guys fish these rattle traps is ripping them through grass, uh, ripping them through heavy cover and, and catching them. But there is some of that kind of cover on Austin and I have heard that the uh, year round on that lake that the crawl pattern crankbaits do really well. So when I saw this on sale on clearance, I thought, you know what, let me grab it just in case we're back out there on Austin and they're on a rattle trap. But I got it and I'm ready to go. But check out this pattern, guys. Man. All right. Got a few more things in here. Let's see what we got next, guys. All right. Here we go. It's another of those mini crush uh, 25MD. So this is an MD. This one's going to dive a little bit deeper. I believe the other one was a 25X crush mini. And that one dives that Ghost Pro Shad. Um, let's see. I believe that one dives into the two to four. Yeah, two to four foot range. This is the 25 MD. So this one's going to dive down there a little bit deeper in that four to seven foot range. And this is in the Ghost Pro Shad. Check it out. Let's check it out. The Ghost Pro Shad 25 MD. Four foot to seven foot mini crankbait. So again, this is going to do pretty good with the boys. It's going to get down there a little bit deeper, a little bit easier for them to throw in their lighter line. Uh, smaller setups and around the creeks and ponds that we fish uh, smaller lakes that we fish around here and I think it'll still do good uh, on Travis as well as Austin I really feel like the smaller shad profile are gonna get targeted just as well as the bigger ones um, in my lake check it out Ghost Pro Shad 25 MD so that got that ghost body translucent you can see through it with that black back and it's got that little bit bigger bill. It's going to get down there in that four to seven foot range. Again, another mini 25. All right, what else do we got in here? Let's see. Oh, the crankbait. Again, some of these crankbaits, I kind of been eyeing them on the website. And when they had that sell, they were pretty much already in the cart, most of them. So I went ahead and uh, checked out. So this is right now. Uh, I don't know if you saw my last video. I caught one on the flat 75X. I absolutely love this bait. A lot of people love it right now in the winter, and I do too. But honestly, I can fish this thing year round, and it's just a tighter wobble of a crankbait. And sometimes those subtle differences, uh, they just make a difference in how you present the lure to the fish. But I love the flat 75X. It does work, it's really good. And this is another color that I don't have. I've been eyeing that color, but I just didn't have that color yet. So I went ahead. It was on clearance and I wanted to get it. And this is that flat 75X in the bluegill pattern. And this, I'm gonna have to take a look at this one first, guys, because this is this is nice. That orange belly, kind of a yellow stomach there. It's got a lavender line through it, and it goes up to a lime green and then into kind of a green with a blue head there. But yeah, look at this color. This is the bluegill flat 75X. And what I tell you guys about their paint jobs, look at that. 
Look at that paint job there. You got bluegill in your lake? This is the one to throw. I'm telling you. That's the one right there. Bluegill. Yeah, that's that Fly 75X. Again, that is probably my favorite crankbait um, that Six Sense has. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So this is another Cloud9 C6. Um, this is the medium diver so it's not going to get down uh, again like that c10 is it's going to get a little bit shallower in that four to eight foot range and uh this is the shad truce uh, i do have this in the c9 the c10 the cloud 9 c10 i do have it in that color but this is different from the the ghost pro shad truce or the ghost pro truce uh where i had that ghost body this is going to have a white belly i'm sorry a white body um and a chartreuse belly look at that Got that white body there and the chartreuse there on the bottom. Again, who doesn't love some chartreuse on their lures, right? Sweet. Another killer bait. Another crankbait. All right. <laughs> Another flat 75X, guys. This is in the boiled crawfish. So I have this one in the, I think I have it in the 100X. I have to check on that one, but I didn't have in the flat 75X, and you guys know, like I said, the flat 75X is my favorite crankbait that the 6 has. So this is in that crawfish pattern, the boiled crawfish. It's going to do good. I can't wait to throw that one in that flat 75X, the boiled crawfish. But we're not done. So uh, I stopped into Academy the other day. I had to pick up a few things. So while I was there, I happened to notice that they had a sale on a few things, uh, really two items in particular. Uh, I fish a lot of the Z-Man. Uh, I think I have them, um, these little crawls, the TRD crawls I use on a lot of my micro jigs. Uh, some of those jigs that you saw me open earlier with the, the Ned Rig jigs or the Finesse jigs, the smaller jigs. I use a lot of these TRD crawls uh, on them. So. When I was there, they are basically made out of this elastic material and they stretch really well. And I'll show you here in a second how they stretch. And they stay together, the movement in the water, uh, they're very buoyant. And I just, I really like their, their soft plastics for, for my trailers. So while I was there, um, I think it was Tim and Matt on Tactical Bass and I saw them talking about their ticklers, which is their kind of Ned Rig. Uh, worms that they fish so I happened to be looking through and I saw that they were on clearance I think for like a dollar fifty a pack so I grabbed all the packs that I could find that were on clearance in the colors that I might use so uh, I was able to look at four or five packs of these TRD ticklers and I'm going to use them on those regular Ned Rig my regular Ned Rig and on those Ned Rig jig heads I might use some of these basically it's just a small little um, Ned Rig but the tail here is kind of frayed so it's got these tentacles here on the tail that when it's in the water they kind of just bounce around and that's what that Ned Rig does it sits down there and it just kind of bounces back and forth and these are like a watermelon red they call it California crawl um, it's got some red specks in there with the green pumpkin check this out so yeah I grabbed about four or five packs uh, of these Z-Man crawls from Academy and I got them hanging up back there already, so I'll put those back there, as well as some of the Finesse TRD Ned Rigs. And these are basically the same thing, but they don't have that fray tail. Um, and they're going to do that same thing on that Ned Rig. They're going to sit there on the bottom. You're going to bounce it up and down, very buoyant. And for whatever reason, these Ned Rigs, they just work, especially when the fish aren't biting you downside your line and your tackle and you're going out there and you really want to catch the fish and they're not biting anything else. You throw a Ned Rig on, you're going to get bit. I promise you that. And again, this is that elastic material. Look at that. I mean, I'm pulling on it pretty hard. Look how far it stretches and it's not breaking. So, you know, the plastic and the material of these, when you're catching fish all day long, they hold up. You're not having to change out plastics every other cast or every other fish cast. So every other fish catch. So that really helps a lot. So these are the TRD Finesse Ned Rigs. And this is in the Candy Crawl. So it's got a little bit more color in there. It's got some gold flakes some red and some black. That's about what I see. Check it out. Yeah, pick those up. Also, tonight, as you said, my brother-in-law's in town. We're going fishing tomorrow. He had to go get some stuff he wanted to fish with tomorrow. So, again, I can't go to Cabela's without going to the fishing stuff. So, I picked up a few things there. 
Uh, I think I talked about this line the last time. This is kind of a line I've been using. It, it's, it's very you know inexpensive. I know there's some expensive lines out there. It's not 100% fluorocarbon. I think it's a poly, a polymer uh, line with a uh, fluoro coating on it. It's called P-Line. It's a company you're probably familiar with P-Line, but it's called Fluoro Clear. And again, I'm not going to talk to you guys about things that I haven't used. I'm going to talk to you guys about things that I have used and I found have worked for me. And for a $8, $10 box of 300 yards, 8-pound uh, line, let me tell you, the line is really strong. Uh, it does really well for us. And, you know, I've, I've had to try to break this line off uh, after getting snagged and I couldn't even break it off. So, uh, again, it's an 8-pound line, but it's really, really strong. Um... I find it's working for me. I'm sure there's better line out there. I'm sure that, you know, there's more expensive line that's going to overall perform better. But for the price and for as infrequently as I use uh, fluorocarbon, straight fluoro, or light line like this fishing, uh, I think I think for now it does the job. If you have any recommendations on lines that you're using that you like for you, leave it down in the comment section and uh, let me know what you think. Something I've been putting off for a long time. Um... I just I find it hard to spend the money on some of these baits uh, when I find other things that are cheaper are working but I saw it there and I just kept staring at me and I wanted to give it a try I've had the regular chatter bait but I have yet to try the jackhammer so uh, I went ahead and I got the jackhammer and this is the 3 8 ounce in the clear water shad you guys know I fish a lot of clear water so we went with that clear water shad And this is a bait that I, I'm very unfamiliar with. I have fished a little bit of the chatter bait, the, the regular chatter baits here and there. Not a lot. So this is kind of one of those baits that I'm going to tie on and I'm going to dedicate uh, some time to learning how to fish the chatter bait because I know it does good things. I hear good things about it. Um, and I want to become more familiar with fishing it and, and seeing what it can do for me out there on the water. So that's the Z-Man chatter bait, uh, the jackhammer it is. So we'll try that one out. Another thing I got uh, for some of those TRD ticklers that I'm going to try out tomorrow, which is why I needed some of these, is I got some regular Ned Rig jig heads. And these are the uh, Z-Man Finesse Shrooms jig heads. And I got the, I think the 6th ounce, one, one sixth ounce on those little jig heads there. So we'll see how those do tomorrow. Maybe we'll catch a fish on it. I'm pretty sure I will. Uh, again, the Ned Rigs, they, they just work. You know they do they do good things. Uh, they had a clearance on some some spinnerbait, so I picked up a a, a Z-Man uh, spinnerbait, and this is a three eighths ounce white spinnerbait. It's got two blades on there. So again, uh, go to Cabela's, go to Academy. You got to go through the fishing section, and I probably have plenty of these, but another one doesn't hurt, right? Another thing I picked up was some uh, three sixteenth skinny drop shot, just regular lead drop shot weights there. Uh, you can never have enough of these. You go through them, and uh, I do fish tungsten. I will tell you this: tungsten has proven uh, it is very sensitive. It does really well, but it is expensive. And I fish a rocky lake, and it's throwing money right into the lake because I'm gonna get snagged. I'm gonna get hooked up on some boulders. It's gonna happen. So uh, I will fish tungsten here and there. Um, on my home body of water, though, I do kind of just kind of relate back to lead because it is cheap. And I go through them quite a bit. So I do have tungsten on me. I do fish tungsten. But a lot of the time, especially when I'm on Travis, I'm fishing regular lead weights. So picked up some more of those. And yeah. All right. So I know all you guys tuned in for the big one, right? So let me clear some of this stuff off the table. And we'll be back for the early Christmas present from Tackle Warehouse. Let me talk to you guys about what I got and why I got it. It's a new rod that I have been putting off for probably a little over a year. I wanted to get one. I wanted to get one, but I couldn't. But with the Tackle Warehouse sale going on, and I had no more excuses. I ran out of excuses. So I went ahead and made the purchase. I've been fishing some bigger baits. I needed a bigger rod to fish those baits because some of these baits I've been fishing are pushing the two plus ounce weight range and none of the rods that I have were really rated for that. I've been throwing it on a rod I think that was rated up to uh, an ounce maybe an ounce and a half and uh, the bait that I was throwing was you know pushing four ounces so it probably wasn't very smart of me 
to be doing, but I was doing it anyway because I wanted to give it a shot. But now I don't have any excuses to be throwing this bait because I finally got the rod to do it. So I'm not going to talk anymore. Let's get into this and let's show you guys what I got. I'm not even sure what side I want to open first, but we're going to do this side here. You guys are not going to be surprised with the brand that I went. If you've been following the channel and watched any of my previous videos, you probably already know what rod I went with because it's been proven. Um, a lot of guys use this brand of rod, especially for this technique. And uh, I have one, two, three, four, uh, not the specific model, but the same maker uh, of rods that I purchased last year. Let me tell you guys, I'm going to do a rod review. I promise you you're going to see this rod. But that's what led me to this rod. So here we go. Woo. And let's do it. Here we go. It's going to keep going because it's a big one. Oh, man. Yeah. Get out of here. You guys have probably already figured it out. Man, and here it is. Bam. Yes, we did it. We went back to Dobbins. This is the Dobbins Fury Series 806 swim bait rod. That's right. We actually have a dedicated swim bait rod. Also, not only swim baits, but as you saw in my last video, we caught our first umbrella rig fish. So we got it covered now, guys. Right there on the rod, swim bait umbrella rig rod. That's what we're fishing with. Swim bait umbrella rig rod. We're good to go. I don't know what else I can say. Um, again, one of my favorite slogans on the rods right there. It's the little things, right, guys? It's the little things. We're not in this to lose. We don't do anything to lose. We fish to win. Uh, Shouts out to Gary Dobbins. Um, again, just like I said earlier about Six Sense, uh, I'm not sponsored by Dobbins. Um, I don't get paid by Dobbins. Uh, they don't do uh, anything for me other than make excellent rods that I buy. And uh, again, they're a company that I believe in and they make a good product and they stand behind their customers and to me, um, in today's world, that means a lot. You find a company that makes good things and stands behind their product, I'm going to buy it. And um, you guys already know everything there is to know about Dobbins. If you're in the fishing industry, they make good rods. Uh, they feel great. And this is an 8-foot rod and a 6-power. So it's, let's read it. Basically, it's the Fury 806 swim bait, 8 foot rod, one piece, 20 to 40 pound line, 2 ounce to 8 ounce. I don't have any 8 ounce baits, but I do have almost a 4 ounce bait. Heavy, fast action. Swim baits and umbrella rigs. It's got this nice big handle here, so when I'm lobbing those casts out there, I can kind of get it in there, lob it out there, and when I'm setting that hook, kind of come back with it. I'm not having to yank it. Uh, this 8 foot rod is going to let me control that bait, get it out there further, and actually have a better hookup ratio when I'm setting the hooks uh, on those swim baits. So there it is guys. That's the Dobbins Fury 806 swim bait rod. And um, I don't have a swim bait reel yet. I do and I don't. I have a reel that I'm going to use for it and I think it'll be fine. Uh, my next uh, purchase will be a swim bait reel. So uh, another comment opportunity for you guys in the comment section down below, let me know what kind of reel you think I should get to pair with this bad boy here. I do have something else to show you guys that I didn't do an unboxing for. Um, it's gonna go with this rod, specifically a couple items that I purchased recently, but as soon as they came in, I, I couldn't wait. I couldn't do an unboxing for three items. I wanted to get out there, I wanted to fish them. But the good news is, is I haven't caught a fish on either one of these yet, because I haven't fished in a lot. Uh, I just didn't feel comfortable fishing out on the setups that I had. So now that I have a dedicated rod for it, I'm going to get out there. I'm going to dedicate uh, some time out there on the water with, with these two lures and uh, hopefully catch a fish with them. So you'll be able to see my first fish catch with these lures. So hang on. I'll be right back. All right. The first one, uh, I can probably throw with some of my other setups. I think it weighs... Uh, 
just over an ounce, an ounce and a half, I believe. Yeah, 1.6 ounces. It's the six cents trace. I got two of these. I got a wild shad and I got the um, 4K shad. So this is one of the swim baits that I'm going to be throwing. And hopefully you guys see me catch my first fish on it. This is the 4K shad trace from six cents. Look at that bad boy. Yeah. We're doing some swim bait fishing, guys. We're going to we're going to jump into the swim baits just a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little bit. All right. I know this video is supposed to be quick and, and short, but I got a lot of things I wanted to show you guys. So, hopefully you're still in there, you're still watching. If not, uh, I appreciate for the time that you did give me. The last one is the draw from 6 cents. This is the biggest bait that I've ever purchased and I'll be honest with you it's a little intimidating because I've never really fished uh, a glide bait or a swim bait to this size uh, I will tell you that the homie Ben Milliken uh, helped the six design this there's his logo there on the back and um, I guess if you were one of the first few people to order it when it came out you got a signature so appreciate it Ben shouts out to Ben Milliken for signing this one uh, I have fished with it before um, there on Lake Austin, trying to get my first glide bait fish, but it didn't happen. So um, I've been watching some videos, trying to learn a few things. Again, I'm, I'm very new to this game and the glide bait. This is the Bone Pearl Draw. It's a 9-inch glide bait. I think it weighs 3.7, what it weighs? 3.7 ounces, 9-inch glide bait from 6 inch, the Draw. So I can't wait to get out there and catch this, uh, catch a fish with this, guys. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be sooner than later. Hopefully, I've been watching some videos, learning a lot about this game. So it's a single jointed glide bait, and basically, uh, I'm going to wait to talk about these baits on the water when I'm out there fishing it. But just really quick, it's it's going to glide in that water, like this, back and forth, back and forth. You pause it, turns around a little bit, and it really draws some of those bigger fish out of where they're hiding at they're gonna see it coming by they're gonna follow this bait and then that's when it's up to you to figure out what they're doing if they're following the baits uh, and a lot of big fish have been caught on these big baits so um, that's kind of what I'm hoping for um, I haven't caught a 10 pound bass before that's my goal to catch a 10 pound bass which these days you guys have been following the fishing industry a 10 pound bass isn't what it used to be now you want to catch a 13 pound bass but either way we're going to go out we're going to fish this we're going to catch some big fish guys but check it out i hope that camera can get it all because like i said it's a big bait nine inches right there and the bone pearl draw all right that's it guys i'm out of breath you guys are done hearing me talk i appreciate you guys for hanging in there um we're gonna be on the water tomorrow we're gonna break down some things we're gonna do a little more talking in this video explain a few things to you guys so i hope you enjoy it if you haven't done so already you like the channel uh subscribe to the channel drop me a like drop me a comment and and let me know what you guys want to see or what you think about this unboxing let me know what kind of reel you think i should get for this uh swim bait rod here by dobbins and yeah I guess that's it guys so we'll see you on the water soon the next video we're going to be out fishing hopefully we're catching fish and we'll see you soon from beasley bass